people might know that I'm a big fan of the Dreamcast. Uh, it's probably when my interest in games is probably at its peak. And in fact, uh, I like the Dreamcast so much that when I was trying to get a job in the games industry, I wrote my demo for the Dreamcast. Um, so that, that's my my game, my uh, my demo that managed to get me into the industry. So the Dreamcast, like a lot of Sega consoles, has a arcade counterpart. And in fact, here it is. It's a Sega Naomi. This is basically a Dreamcast, but it was in arcades. Uh, it's slightly upgraded. Uh, it's got a lot more memory, etc. And it's games, it's, uh, cartridges like this one, Virtua Tennis. That's the back of it. And that just plugs into this slot here. So a lot of the arcade boards which I get use this jammer standards. And this was a standard for years and years and years. This is uh, Neo Geo. I built, they call them super guns. But yeah, it's a device that connects onto there. I can plug my controller into there. This goes to the TV um, and then power goes in there. But the Naomi released at a time when the Jammer standard was on its way out and instead has been replaced by the JVS standard. There's VGA out, that's very easy. Phonos for the audio, very easy. Then they have these weird, I think they're JSTVL uh, connectors, but they have all standard voltages, so 3.3 volts, 5 volts and 12 volts. To play this at home, I just made an adapter from a PC power supply. So I had heard that you could use Dreamcast controllers with uh, Sega Naomi. In fact, uh, these pins here, this header, um, basically you can wire in a, a Dreamcast controller into there. But the problem is, is that it's only for certain games. Like it's some games allowed you to plug in your own controller into um, into the arcade machine and maybe bring your own controls along, maybe use your own uh, VMUs to save the game. So basically that's why that port exists and Virtua Tennis is not one of those which use the port. So I had a look, uh, this is where the controls plug in. So I had a look, they call them I.O. boards, but the I.O. boards that are available on eBay were almost as expensive as the machine itself and so I didn't really want to pay that, so I had a look for the specification. It's documented, it's only in Japanese, but Google Translate uh, is your friend, of course. I made my own I.O. board. This is an RS-485 module, so this is a serial protocol that uh, uses uh, differential signaling. Then there's this sense line, so it looks like USB, but it's not really USB. So this sense line, which is basically just for uniquely numbering, because you're supposed to be able to have multiple ones in a chain, it just provides a way of numbering them individually. This is uh, Teensy, which is probably overkill for this project, um, but I, I like these modules, so um, that's what I used. It has a hardware UART on it, which is a serial port, basically. And then uh, I just provided one of these D-Sub connectors, D-Sub 15, which is based on the Neo Geo AES connectors. So yeah, so I had controllers already built, so let's see it up and running. Insert some coins. Um, and yeah, we can play some tennis. But Virtual Tennis is one of my favourite uh, Dreamcast games. In fact, I got uh, so into um, Virtual Tennis that uh, when I was at university, I was passing some people playing real tennis, and I thought, oh, they're terrible. And I was almost going up to give them some tips, and then I realised, yeah, I can't play tennis. I've just played so much virtual tennis uh, on the Dreamcast. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, I'm uh, hugely out of practice. Um, but yeah, but you can see the controls work, work fine. 
So um, let's press the test button and we'll we'll get into the the test menu and uh, we can actually go to JBS test and uh, there you go there you see it so uh, it's my github um, this is a Teensy based JBS IO board so you can see it there it provides 12 switches and then one coin slot if you wanted to add things like analog controls then that wouldn't be too difficult to do in fact, the spec for this has so many weird things like for alpha, alphanumeric displays, um, all sorts of things, and uh, that would be quite easy to modify the code to make that work if you had a game that needed them. As always, uh, the design for it and all the um, code will be on GitHub, so if you want to make your own and uh, save yourself some money on an I.O. board, then uh, check that out. It's at github.com slash charcoal.